The Cowboys situation with uh, Tony Romo now out. So their Super Bowl odds went from 17 to 1 to 30 to 1. But morale is a little bit higher there than it, a lot more higher there than it is in Minnesota with Dak Prescott. Have you seen enough where you can say, Dak Prescott, the Cowboys are in good hands? Uh, I, I saw enough at him, of them in college. And then I, I, I tell everybody, I, I've been, I bragged about this. And, you know, every now and then I like to say, I told you so. And, and, and hopefully, and I'm going to hit Dak on this to make sure he proves me right again. But I thought he was the best quarterback in the draft. I just thought he was a physical gift. I mean, this, this kid could play, he can run, he's smart, he's poor, he has poise. Uh, I told Jerry that. That's why I sat with him that first uh, preseason game. And, you know, I spent the whole preseason game saying, I told you so, I told you so. And I was trying to convince Jerry then, let's not go get one of these old jokers that lose every time they step on the football field, <laughs> one of these old veterans. Let's stick with this young guy because the, the team is believing in him and give him this opportunity. I didn't expect for this opportunity to happen so quickly like this. I really – wanted Tony Romo to get an opportunity to, to, to show the world um, um, really what he is, and I thought this would be a great year for Tony Romo. So hopefully that can keep the, can keep the ship right where he needs it until Tony gets back. But I love this kid, Dan. I think he was the best, I thought he was the best quarterback in the draft last year. But you had Jerry Jones who was doing his best to go after Paxton Lynch and you know thought about Carson Wentz if he fell yeah. and then you know he was he was looking at a variety of quarterbacks. It, it was like Dak fell into their lap. They tried to screw it up. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't go tell Paul Smith he tried to screw it up. But I told him, you know, some things work like that. The best <laughs> things sometimes work like that. You know, you had this thought in mind, they had this thought in mind. You hear from all of these people, and the reality is you, you follow that Prescott, and it's the blessing in disguise. You know, is that, that believes that he is. He believes he's the best quarterback. And, and then, then we have to sit around to the fourth round. Do you know what kind of uh, spunk that puts in you to go out and prove the whole world wrong? So Jerry tried to get the Paxton Lynches and all of that, but the fact that that had to sit around, this guy will use that as energy, use that as fuel, and do exactly what he's been doing in the preseason. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.